Oh, I don't think it's any different than any other start during the year. They're the same team we've played all year. It's just a little more riding on this game. That's about it. How do you plan to pitch Raleigh Durham, especially when they're breathing down your neck? Well, about the way we pitch any other team. Uh, Skip had a talk with us today, the pitchers in general, and he said that we were trying to be too fine, trying to hit the inside corner and the outside corner and things like that. Uh, we're just going to try to throw strikes, get the ball over the plate, make them hit it, and make our fielders catch it. You have not been really hit by a big slump. You've been maybe not as strong the last couple of weeks as you have been pitching, but uh, you're not really in what you would call a slump, are you? Uh, yes and no. Uh, I've had times when I could be happier with the things I've done, and I've made quite a few mistakes, like uh, with no balls and two strikes, throwing another strike and getting hurt there. Uh, but overall, things have been all right. Been pretty good. How do you evaluate the Raleigh Durham hitting? Their hitting's not as strong as their pitching. Uh, they have real good pitching. Uh, their hitters, it's hard to tell. It's August. That's pretty much a hitter's month. And they've been going pretty good. I imagine they'll have a lot of momentum with them. So we'll have to stop them. Does Salem have the momentum, too? I don't think there's any doubt we'll be up for this game. It's a big game. There'll be no keeping us down. Certainly we can hang on. And uh, I think that the last couple of weeks of the season has proven that we kind of wanted to wait down to the last weekend of baseball and meet the challenge of the Raleigh Durham Mets. Leastwise, that's the way my players look anyway. And uh, I think the whole 1968 season will be decided right here in Salem uh, Friday and Saturday night with the Raleigh Durham Mets. Your pitching right now is a little bit thin, isn't it? Well, not thin. Uh, my starters have all had their four and five days rest, and my bullpen's in real good shape. Probably in better shape now than it was on the last road trip when we went to Peninsula and Portsmouth. I used quite a few of them then, but. Uh, I checked all the pitching records today, and everybody's had enough rest, and especially my bullpen, and certainly through the organizational rule that my starters must get four days rest and pitch every five days. They've had sufficient rest. Who are the final four starting pitchers for you? Well, it's going to depend a lot on tonight, tomorrow, and Saturday. Roger Haywood goes tonight. Uh, tomorrow will be Dick Hendricks, and on Saturday will be Cal Bailey. And it's according to the outcome of those three games, exactly how I'll line it up against Lynchburg on Sunday and Monday and how much it'll mean to us. Uh, naturally, it'll mean something, I'm sure of that, but uh, I just, I'm going to sleep Saturday night and think about Sunday when it gets here. I hate to look ahead to the playoffs already. I know that you haven't really had a chance to think too much about it, but will you come back with Bob Settle possibly in the first game? Well, that's going to make a difference how we do Friday and Saturday night. Uh, if we do all right tonight, tomorrow night and Saturday, uh, I may come back with Bob Settle. i got several possibilities to use. Uh, without naming any names, I've got six starters on my club, and any of them could go Tuesday night, but I haven't looked that far ahead, actually, until I find out how we do and wake up Sunday morning and look at the paper.